Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! <laughs> it's moving! Oh. Are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately! The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. What's happening? It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Manus, you have awakened once more. This light, was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Manus, where's Fiora? It's okay, I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's... The Mechonis! Where's Egil? Shulk! Do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis! This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia! Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! <laughs> The monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, but Tharon! Fiora? <sighs> Sorry, I can't do it. <sighs> Fiora! <laughs> that was a close one, but we made it. <laughs> Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. <laughs> hey! Ah, what a stroke of luck. You're still alive. Dixon! So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you, Venea. 
There's no need to apologize. So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Eggle's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mekonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mekonis. He will be controlling the Mekonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mekonis. But how are we to get there? The Mekonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mekonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. When you are ready to depart for the Mekonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. is moving. Oi, you! I'm warning you, you better not drop me. You let me go and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life. Yes, Colonel!
Linnea. I am sorry. For Lady Maynard's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so... Actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynard now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I... see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but... It's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings. And I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. From His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Get up on Ricky, all set! Ricky found some heads! We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through that battle. It's just as I thought. The Bernardo feels the same as it did before. And it's stronger. 
This... machine... is this...? Yes. The Apocrypha Generator. Yeah! Let's trash the thing! We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Uh. Are you really all right? Yeah. I'm... fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. Wait! It's moving! No! We're too late! You mean... The Mechonis functions have been restored! No! It can't be! Yes! You puny pests are too late! has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No. No. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right! Looks like it's no problem. Chew on that, Apoka, whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk? Oi! <sighs> Whoa. What's happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing. Now we're talking. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. Back on track. Just like I said, the kid'll come through. Naturally, everything is falling into place. <laughs> you can say that again. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I know not how things will proceed from this point. So, you worms have finally arrived. Agil! Stop! You were born of my hands! You are like you! Yeah. 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 
will perish at my hands! Why? Why don't you crumble beneath my feet? Annoying!
For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap you for even brain! You kill a Homs to beat us! I want you Begil to kill Begil. once wished only I to break the I circle of suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and every one world. of you! Mena, the villagers, yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it. The way it is what so you clear. want. To Mena and to me. <sighs> no. This isn't what I want. Shulk! No! Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, 
My blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... We understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil, hey, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mekonis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Mekonis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined. By strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Egil, I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mekonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Mekonis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have done that, little brat.